Hello everyone, hi and welcome to another video. Now for the sake of this video, I have I've already painted uh, the entire landscape and while I'm doing my editing, I am adding this voiceover. I am not so great in voiceovers, so pardon me if I make mistakes, but I will try because I want to improve on with this voiceovers as well okay so basically about today's video we are doing a very simple painting now in some of my videos I have been getting comments that my landscapes are not beginner friendly so I am trying to come down to the beginners level and try to bring videos or landscapes which are more easy now in today's uh, painting there is a small area of land and then we have a little part of the foreground is basically water and then we have a little bit of foliage and two tree trees and little bit of background trees so that's basically the composition now I am using uh, my pencil to just draw the sketch very rough sketch you don't have to be perfect on this and don't worry if your pencil marks are there I have seen many artists uses uh, eraser or kneadable erasers to remove the uh, graphite but it's okay I mean it's a personal choice I don't uh, I don't try to uh, use a eraser to erase this graphite marks but yeah it uh, if you want you can go ahead and use it okay those are my brushes for today I got a new brush from China oh my god yes I got this directly from China and this is a um, whistle hair sumi brush okay with a hard tip so yeah basically I'll be doing my first painting uh, with this uh, brush so this is like I have not even no I have not even tried how the brush marks look so let's see how it will turn out uh, for this painting I am you know putting water on the entire surface and uh, if you know how I paint I entirely wet the uh, entire surface first so what I do is uh, what's that word block yeah I block uh, various parts of the painting like the sky, the foliage and the ground, the water. So I will just block it with very light colors. To get the light colors what we do is we dilute the pigment. Now here I am taking cobalt blue and I am mixing it with water. I got a very light wash for the sky. the background faded bushes uh, like structures so in the I so I'll just quickly mix my colors I already have the cobalt blue out so I am also mixing uh, ultramarine then um, undersea green and a little bit of burnt sienna and we are going to getting this muddy mix for our foliage so yeah here it is and uh, another thing is you must be careful while adding the paints because we don't want it in a you know straight line we uh, at places it must be high and some places it must be low so it must not be in a straight line so just be careful on that and uh, after the first layer I'm also adding a second layer of paints this is French ultramarine I'm directly adding French ultramarine to this mix because it is a damp paper it will spread and it will not look uh, you know weird so yeah <laughs> Oh. 
ओके गाइज इट्स टाइम टू यूज माई न्यू ब्रश एंड लेट बी टेल यू इमीडिएटली आई लव इट आई लव द पॉइंटी टिप विच दिस ब्रश हैज सो या it was a good experience using this one right now i am painting the ground and the foreground foreground will be the water part air still keeping everything light and diluted You might have heard uh, people saying that uh, watercolors are like one time thing and uh, once you have painted it if something is went wrong it's very difficult to go back and correct it because we in watercolors we are painting from light to dark and uh, once we have painted the darker darkest layer we don't have a option to go back now that's mostly correct but uh, if you are using a very good paper you have the option of picking up paint right now uh, you will see me in places where i pick up the paint to get the uh, highlights so just make a note that you know uh, though we can't go back there are certain techniques but these techniques don't work in all kind of papers now this paper i have tested it many times and i have seen that we are it's very uh, forgiving paper uh, we can pick up the paper paint so yeah that uh, helps a lot guys before i go ahead one big disclaimer I have not scripted my video so I am just picking out out of my mind directly watching the video so if anywhere any misses or any um, anything like I don't get I don't find out those exact words so yeah it might look I am fumbling so forgive me for that If you guys are beginners a complete beginner the first the first suggestion which I could give you is choose your materials well now paints you can compromise brushes you can compromise but paper a big no so just look out for good quality paper and remember it must be 300% gsm it must be a cotton paper and it must be cold pressed or hot uh, cold pressed or a rough that you can choose but as a beginner you can you go for the cold pressed papers okay uh, just check this and one more thing is you know um, depending on where you are staying you can find different brands uh, which might be good so just check it uh, Uh, if you need help look out for local artist and you can check with them which paper can i use they would help you if you think those big shot artists from your locality or from your country would not respond to your dms now double think about it you can message as many artists as possible at least I'm sure at least one of them would respond to your messages so don't worry don't think that you know if i message they won't revert what if they revert and what if you guys become good friends right so even before i started making youtube videos many of my instagram followers would dm me to check about papers and other materials so yeah i would respond sometimes i miss the messages but most of the time i respond so be positive and approach them i am sure definitely they would get back and help you with your queries
we have started painting the tree trunks and uh, I will be using two colors for the tree trunks one is burnt sienna and second is French ultramarine so I will add the burnt sienna first on one side of the tree trunk and next I will go over on the other side with using ultramarine I will go over with this uh, method for two three times in layers to get my desired shade of color.
painting the leaves of a tree is so much fun right you will see why now the first layer will be a light wash of the lightest color which you have and while the paint is still damp you would be going ahead and using darker colors so i'm using a wash of cadmium yellow and my color already had a tint of blue in it so it's looking a lemon yellow but it's okay i think Next, I am using a bit of blue. I am spreading the paint. This is cobalt blue I have, and I'll just uh, add some blobs of paint here and there. And I'll repeat the process until I have my desired three. bit of white gouache for highlighting few areas here and there these are the tree trunks I'll be highlighting and on both the sides so it will separate the tree from the foliage and then little bit of dots here and there so wherever the Sun is falling uh, it is reflecting kind of a impression guys i really hope you enjoyed today's video and my voiceover uh do leave your comments down below let me know what you think about the painting and what else you want to see me paint i will be seeing you in the next video till then have a great week and bye take care